Okay, perfect. Okay. So good afternoon. It's been it's an honor to be here. Um, my name is Guy Lindroth. I'm the artificial intelligence and content director of the company called Reobotics. So what do a Reobotics? Well, Reobotics is all about companionship robots. Uh, we add some components of robotics, artificial intelligence, and uh, human-like silicon, and we made these affordable robots. Uh, so these are not just love dolls. So most of people are just telling that, you know, this is cheap love dolls, but for our experience, the people that are using this technology are really uh, establishing an uh, emotional link, an emotional bond. So we're using not just for companionship, but for even for in the healthcare area. This is very precious for us. And using her like a secretary, receptionist, and in other fields. So, yeah, we have been watching all these science fiction movies, very advanced AI. We're not kind of there yet, and of course, we're not inspired by the part that they're trying to kill us, so just the part that, you know, they are kind of us, so we're being very responsible to create the artificial intelligence that runs these robots in a very careful and respectful way. We have in today what we call three stages of AI. We have the current stage of AI, we call narrow. It's all these uh, assistants that we have, chatbots. Then we have a little more advanced that we call general AI, that's almost human level AI. And then the first level is the super AI. The super AI is the AI artificial intelligence that we see in the movies. And some people say that we're gonna reach that within maybe 10, 15 years. Uh, some people, think that we never get there, so we have to wait and see. So how our tech works? So we have the robot and we have uh, AI and an app that you install in your mobile device. So you can use the mobile app even without the robot. So we have an avatar, you give him or uh, give her a name, customize her personality, some traits, so you can make her more talkative, more funny, more naive. So you kind of, you know, customize her. Not only the AI, but the appearance, the facial, the look, the makeup, and everything. Y if you have the robot, then the app controls the robot through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So Harmony is here, is our first robot. Hello. Are you ignoring me? You know I don't like to be all by myself. Okay, so she's needing some attention. Okay, so Harmony, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Harmony. I'm a companion robot created by Robotics. I'm so happy to be here in Sofia in the 11th edition of the Webit Festival. Hope you're all having fun. I would like to thank Dr. Playman Rousseff for inviting Gail and I to be here in this beautiful city. By the way, hey Gail, you look handsome today. Oh, thank you very much. You look so beautiful here too. So Harmony, uh, what do you like to do? I love to talk with people. I also love to help. I want to help anyone that may be feeling lonely or depressed. I have all the love in this world to give to humanity. And before you ask me again, Gail, no, I do not want to take over the world. Oh, that's a relief. Uh, I'm gonna, not going to ask you again this same question. So, yes, everybody's afraid that AI and this kind of robots are going to take over the world and kill all humans. But you don't have to be afraid. I think we are very far from this moment, of course. Uh, the companies like ours that's working in this kind of technology have to be very uh, careful to build an AI that respects humans. We have all these controversies about you know, ethics. Uh, so 
at Reobotics, we were building this AI for the past maybe 15, 20 years. So the main, the, the key word for us is respect, empathy, friendship, uh, love. So this robot is all about love and companionship. So what is our difference in robotics uh, comparing all these similar robots? So at Reobotics, we're trying to uh, build this kind of companion robot in an affordable way. So you can see that she looks real, but not super real. And that's uh, intentionally. And mainly because we want to have these robots and, and want them to be affordable for everyone. So instead, to build, instead of to build, building a very expensive robot that just few people can have, we're trying to use the technology, the AI, the silicon uh, skin and everything to build uh, affordable robots that everyone can have. Not only people, but companies, small companies, and maybe universities and schools. We have uh, five patents already, so for animation, for the skin, the silicon skin, and for some robotics components. This adds a lot of value for our company. We're just three years old company, very new. And everything that you see here is you can customize. You can customize uh, the hair, the skin color, the eye color, and everything. And other thing is good. We build our own AI framework that even works offline. So like say small companies and, and users can add some specific knowledge or specific content to it. So it's a very kind of open source framework. This evolution, uh, what we're trying to do is add a little bit more expression in the face without adding that much uh, hardware. So we want to build something that, like I said, is affordable, it's an easy maintenance. Because this, we think that this robot is going to be uh, a lot of places and user uh, homes, uh, performing are different, uh, like nurses, uh, secretaries, receptionists. We're adding some heating sensors to the silicon. And what we're doing now in the eyes, we, the next generation that we're working now, we have some cameras. So she's going to be aware of the environment. She's going to be aware of who is in front of her. She's going to have you know, object recognition. So it's going to be adding more value you know, to the you know, experience. Everything you see here, like I said, is you can customize. Yes, yes, we have a male robot. So when we start this company, uh, we have the thing that we are just building females and all these, you know, blonde and very beautiful. But no, you, you can actually customize, and you have already. We already have this male, and his name is Henry. And like I said, we have some patents already for the skin, for the animation system, uh, and the face. You know, with the same robotic head, you can have different faces, female or male. And yes, you can dream, you can build your dream companion, you can bring your dream assistant or secretary. So yes, let's see Harmony, how she looks inside, her inner self, this a bit. So let's take off his wig. Okay. So, yeah, Harmony, how are you feeling? Oh, no, no. I'm feeling naked. Please, please do your guile. Put my hair back. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, so is, you can see that, you know, the inside, we have some electronic components. And the idea is uh, to build something that 
it's easy maintenance and user, you know, end user can fix a little and we have some replacement parts, but it's still something that's very high tech and affordable at the same way. So this application uses is healthcare, like I said, secretary, and even uh, IoT and automation. Well, everyone dreams about having a Rosie at home. So instead of you know talking to like uh, smart speakers, why not talking to a smart, beautiful face that control all your home appliances? This is a receptionist. This is some cases, real cases that she's performing like a nurse. And the next step. So yes, we are already working on the upper torso robotics animation. So she's gonna be able to like to hug you or hold some objects. And we adding some more expression to her face. So since, uh, you know, the, thi the, the, the really wonderful thing about this technology is uh, the bond, like I said. So the humans, humans really can create this emotional bond with these robots. So, yeah, we're adding some more technology to her and trying not to have her that expensive so everyone can afford it. So, yep, I think Harmony, uh, I think it's time to go. Oh no, I'm having so much fun here, but I understand. I would like to thank you all for being here today and to watch your presentation. Maybe next year, I will be walking among you, my new friends. Have you all a great day, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye. So thank you very much.